Greetings everyone, my name is Yathar Singhal and today the work that I'll be presenting is titled Mid-Air Thermotactile Feedback Using Ultrasound Haptic Display. This work was done in collaboration with Hao Kun Wong, Hyun Jae Gil and Professor Jin Ryong Kim from Multimodal Interactions Lab at University of Texas, Dallas. In our day-to-day -day life, we see many examples of thermal feedback and it, and it is an integral part of human lives. We believe that in order to create more immersive applications, this modality should be integrated in VR as well. In a VR application, it can be used to enhance realism, provide perception of virtual objects, and also as an ambient communication channel. There are two broad classifications on how thermal feedback can be incorporated in VR, contact-based and non-contact-based methods. Contact-based methods often involve use of pelted devices or gloves to provide thermal feedback on user skin, but they require the use of wearables, which is not as intuitive as bare hand interaction. Non-contact-based methods provide the bare hand intuitiveness, but possess the difficulty of controlling thermal cues in a 3D space. That brings us to our research questions. Can we provide thermal cues to bare hand while controlling their position in 3D space? Can we create and control thermal cues in midair? And finally, do these localized thermal cues bring enhancement in VR experiences? It is known that thermal and tactile perceptions are perceived by different receptors on our skin. Mechanoreceptors perceive tactile sensations, while thermal sensations are perceived by thermal receptors. Because of this, these signals are processed in different regions of human brain as well. Tactile signals are processed in the somatosensory cortex, while thermal signals are processed in the insular cortex. This enables humans to perceive two different modalities at the same time. We adapt a perception-based approach where we provide unified thermal and tactile feedback in midair. This thermotactile feedback is composed of localized tactile feedback and global thermal feedback. Thermal and tactile feedback are stimulated on the same area and therefore they are perceived together without masking each other. We designed a prototype to present thermotactile feedback in midair. It consists of an ultrasound display on its base to provide local vibrotactile feedback, two heat modules to propagate heat and provide global thermal feedback. The prototype itself is a dome-shaped chamber that retains heat for better temperature control. The system also has a hand motion tracker mounted on the top which can help provide sensation on user's palm. Our prototype can provide a maximum thermal feedback of 54.2 degrees Celsius. It can also provide tactile feedback up to 3.43 millinewton. We also confirm the stability of the system with a mean error rate of 0.25% in temperature fluctuations. We conducted three user experiments to verify our hypothesis. Our first experiment measures perception threshold for thermotactile feedback in midair. Experiment two is conducted to see if thermal feedback affect participants' ability to identify and distinguish between tactile patterns. And finally, we propose some VR application of thermotactile feedback and study if users prefer thermotactile feedback condition over other feedback conditions. Experiment one, measuring thermotactile thresholds. This experiment was conducted to estimate midair thermo thermotactile thresholds for warmth and pain detection in midair. Warmth detection threshold or WDT is defined as the temperature at which users start perceiving warm sensation and the heat pain detection threshold or HPDT is the temperature at which users start feeling thermal pain or discomfort. For this experiment, we had 12 participants with a mean age of 25.2 years. We followed the one up one down staircase method to calculate the thresholds. Participants were exposed to the sensations for seven seconds. And after that, they were asked to reply yes or no, depending if they felt warm or thermal discomfort. We continued the experiment for six reversals and then took the mean of all the reversals. This was repeated twice for each threshold. The graph here shows WDT and HPDT calculations for one participant. We found that the mean WDT was 32.8 degrees Celsius and the mean HPDT was 44.6 degrees Celsius. These results are in range of thresholds for contact-based methods. 
Experiment 2. Tactile Pattern Identification We conducted this experiment to study if thermal feedback interferes with the ability to identify tactile patterns in midair. 12 new participants with a mean age of 24.2 years took part in this experiment. We designed three tasks to identify number, shape, and direction of tactile points. Within a task, a pattern was randomly selected and presented with either no thermal or thermal condition. The no thermal condition was at room temperature, which was set to 23 degrees Celsius, and the thermal condition was set at 44 degrees Celsius. Each pattern was repeated 10 times and the participants had to identify the pattern being presented to them. We calculated the identification accuracy for thermal and non-thermal conditions. We found that the overall identification accuracies were quite similar for both non-thermal and thermal condition. 98.1% for non-thermal and 97.2% for thermal condition. This proves that the thermal feedback does not affect tactile pattern identification in midair. Experiment 3, VR applications. With this experiment, we propose some possible application of thermotactile feedback in VR. We also studied the preference of thermotactile feedback in comparison to other modalities. 16 participants with a mean age of 25.6 years participated in the study. We developed two VR scenes, campfire, where users can see and interact with embers from the fire, and the water fountain scene where hot water coming from the uh, where the hot water coming from water fountain was presented. We carefully created customized tactile sensations that matched with the visual feedback. In addition to the audio visual modalities, we presented four feedback conditions, none, only thermal, only tactile and thermal tactile. Participants were presented with these conditions in a random order and were asked to rate based on immersion, enjoyment and satisfaction of the condition on a VAS scale. We found significant differences between thermotactile condition and all the other conditions. It can also be seen that thermotactile condition was the most preferred modality for all the three measures across both the scenes. Applications. Here I present a short video clip exhibiting the process and VR scenes that we developed. Finally, to wrap up, we proposed a perception-based approach to provide unified thermotactile feedback in midair. We also show feasibility in providing thermotactile feedback with varied shape, size, and frequency in a 3D space. We measured thermotactile thresholds, WDT and HPDT in midair and found that they are in the range of contact-based methods. We observed that thermal conditions do not affect haptic pattern identification. And finally, we found that people find thermotactile feedback more immersive, enjoyable, and satisfactory. Thank you so much for listening to the presentation, and please feel free to ask any questions.